Welcome everyone to another Lion's Table. We have been called to spread the good news, to be fishers of men. This is our work, and to help others in their unbelief. Yes, some need help in believing, though they have faith that he is, whether man or woman, husband or wife, son or daughter, friend or neighbor. By being there for them, helping them in their unbelief in times of trial, we carry each other's burden or work. We are the Good Samaritan, because that work is Christ who is in us. We who were once sinners, outside the mercy and compassion of God, but now we have been made a new creation through God's Son, Jesus Christ. And now we have new life. It is abundant and it's eternal. And we share this truth, this hope, this joy, because He is the God of all comfort. Amen. Folks, this is so important to realize. God incarnate Jesus Christ who was put to death in the body, but made alive in the spirit. Accepting Christ as your Lord and Savior is so essential. You know, we died with him, and yet we were also made alive in him for all eternity. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring you to God. He was put to death in the body, but made alive in the spirit. 1 Peter 3.18 And 1 Peter... 2 23 through 25 says when they heaped abuse on him he did not retaliate when he suffered he made no threats but entrusted himself to him who judges justly he himself bore our sins in his body on the tree so that we might die to sin and live to righteousness by his stripes you are healed for you were like sheep going astray, but now you have returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. Amen. Isaiah 53 verse 5 says, But he, has, he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his stripes we are healed. Amen. Romans six eleven. So you too must count yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Romans six thirteen says, do not present the parts of your body to sin as instruments of wickedness, but present yourselves to God as those who have been brought from death to life, and present, and present the parts of your body to him as instruments of righteousness. Amen. And Colossians 2.14 says, Having canceled the debt ascribed to us in the decrees that stood against us, he took it away, nailing it to the cross. Hebrews 9.28 says, so also Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many, and he will appear a second time, not to bear sin, but to bring salvation to those who eagerly await him. Amen. And Hebrews 10, 5 says, Therefore, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. And from Hebrews 10, verse 10, and by that will we have been sanctified through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. In the moment we accept Christ as our Lord and Savior, we are made alive in him. Alive, not dead. Hallelujah. And now, thinking on that, we can understand and be joyful, even in reading Revelation 20, 10 through 12, which is titled, The Final Judgment. And the devil who had deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and sulfur, into which the beast and the false prophet, prophet had already been thrown. They, There they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Then I saw a great white throne, and the one seated on it. Heaven and earth fled from his presence, and no place was found for them. And I saw the dead great and small, standing before the throne. And there were open books, and one of them was the book of life. And the dead were judged according to their deeds, as recorded in the books. Amen. And you know, we've been stressing, deeds, works. In John six twenty nine, the disciples asked Jesus, Lord, what must we do to perform the works of God? And what did Jesus say? Believe. Amen. This is what is recorded, folks. Those who will be judged were dead. They did not receive Christ. If you're listening to this blog and if you've given your life to Christ or haven't yet, 
in a way you already have been made alive in him because you're here and now you are not dead nor you will be counted ever nor you will, will you ever die those dead if we hope for what we do not see we wait for it patiently in the same way the spirit helps us in our weakness for we do not know how we ought to pray but the spirit himself intercedes for us with groans too deep for words and he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the spirit because the spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of god romans chapter 8 verses 25 through 27. he is the god who comforts all who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. This also, this here is our work. It truly is. And that was from 2 Corinthians 1.4. And from 2 Corinthians 1.3, there's going to be a verse that all our troubles, folks, even in our unbelief, for that is trouble too. And in our weakness, in our iniquity, in our infirmity, he comforts us. He who searches our hearts, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort. Believe it. Thank you for joining us on this line's table. We are glad you joined us. We hope it's been a blessing to you, and we invite you to join us again next time.